two clutches to rally the peasants. This seems pretty good, man. Yeah, I like this. No, oh, I forgot about this. This yeah. is also why I don't want to. So there's like a devil on a rafter. And he's like throwing a bucket of fire into some burning people. That's not nice. No. That's not a fun game. Ramble Crush? No, I'd rather take a natural life. You're not gonna. Okay. <laughs> like splash, if I have to splash. Yeah, let's give all of our vampires an ability. Hear that, crossway vampires? This is your time to shine. Do not flatter fate. It did not guide you into my clutches tonight. That was the birds doing all along. <laughs> I the love the art. It's so ridiculous. That poor damsel. The night bird is giant. It's taking her away. And look at its eyes. And humorously large beak. Like... That other person is just helpless. That woman is not wearing anything that is polished silver. Also, that bird is way too big to care about anything <laughs> she could be wearing. Yeah. Maybe it's going to use her to adorn its nest. Maybe. Just It just has a damsel nest. This it's double rally. It's damsels. This double rally is Double so rally, good. double inst instigator gang. We might play Fear of the Bitten with all sure. our first striking dudes. Yeah, I mean, it's not out of the question. Let me just add every card to our deck because they're all excellent. Maybe that too. I think we're too aggro for that to matter. Yeah. Well, you know what's nice, though, is like if you get stalled out in an aggro deck... That's what Curse of the Nightly Hunt seems to do. It, like, forces them... Like, you don't want to attack for a turn, and then they are forced to attack. And then the next turn, you kill them, you know? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so we have 26 cards. It's actually not terrible. In terms of decisions? Yeah. I mean, like, I guess we can add this if we want to. Talk about it. Yeah. A lot of two drops. Double rally. You didn't... Yeah. Put it down there. Oops. That's fine. Yep, so this is our deck. Yeah, so we just have to week. decide which four spells to, ca um, to cut. Because yep. I don't think we want to cut guys. No. no. We only have 16. Like, it's really not. Yeah. We have 17, <laughs> the Midnight Haunting, but, like, whatever. We have yeah. 16 guys. And, like, I don't want to play for Ridgewolf for two... Or maybe, I don't know, like, this could be, like, a decent, like... Oh, Spare from Evil. Somewhat late game. Oh. Maybe Spare from Evil in for, like, one of the Nightbird clutches. Uh, they kind of do a similar thing in this deck, though. I think I would board those... Well, that's why. ...in and out, like, on a one-for-one -one basis. Should I cut a Nightbird clutches, though? I feel like... Yeah, because, like, you want to cast either one of those and then rally... I think, you know? Yeah. And then just kill them. I'm gonna take this out. Because, like, I... This is arguably better, but, like, if they are playing humans, and this is bad. So yeah. maybe should this be a sideboard card? Yeah, sure. I think I agree with that. Um, if you're the, the button, down? the bitten is... Huh? The clutches? Bring, bring it down. Oh, yeah. Curse of the Nightly Hunt and these are kind of redundant, I think. Yes, it's like a question of how many of these types of effects you want to play. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about Fear of the Bitten? Yeah, I, I actually want to try it. I okay. haven't tried it in a while. Uh, or ever, I mean. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it seems pretty good with just yeah. turn to Ironsmith. Problem is, we have to cut like four spells, so we don't need three of clutches and nightly hunt, so we need to cut some number of those. I think... Oh, you know what? Moment of Heroism isn't even that great in this deck, I feel like. I disagree. I think it's good with all of the first strike. Well, this is kind of something that I was running into yesterday, because my sealed deck was very aggressive, and I had all like two and three drops, and I had double Moment of Heroism, and I had a rally in there, and I was boarding out the rally and 
another moment of heroism, or sometimes both of the moment of heroism, for Smite the Monstrous if I saw that they had big bombs, and also uh, tap two guys. Mm. Which I could flash back only with like one of those filter lands. But like I feel like this is one of those types of decks that like you don't actually even care about moment of heroism that much. You just want to cast night birds clutches and kill them, you know. Yeah. And like moment of heroism and fear of the bitten are kind of overlapping too. And the fact yeah. of the matter is we have to cut four spells, so like that's one of them I think. Yeah, I agree. I think Curse of the Nightly Hunt is a sideboard card. Okay. And then maybe like one clutch. Or do you think clutch yeah. is just really good and we should cut something that's like no. semi removal? Because mm. that's understandable. No, I think this is good. Um I, I wanna try Fear of the Bitten. Oh yeah, you know what? Like we don't have to play seventeen land with a deck like this. No, I was thinking sixteen would yeah. be fine. Yeah, I agree. Let's just do it. Let's just this is our deck. Wrong. Wrong. Nine seven. With the chapel geist? With the chapel geist. You think that's good enough? Yeah, like we're mostly red. Yeah, okay. I think seven is enough. Okay. Yeah, I think so, but And also to flashback on Devil's Play. Right. Like it doesn't make me feel comfortable, but I think that it is probably correct. Yeah. I like to have more than I like to have eight when I have double colors in the three drop, you know, and yeah. I wanna get it out on turn three. But like that just might not happen in this and deck. But additionally, that's fine. like there's other things to play, yeah. There's so many ironsmiths. We're gonna have such like an ironed out town yeah. or village. Every night he breaks his door and stands outside of it with like this ridiculous pose. So, um would you consider cutting the chapel geist and splashing full moon's rise and possibly Hamlet Captain? Um We yeah. have seven werewolves. Maybe it's not <clears throat> worth it. I would want to cut Crossway Vampire. Why? Because it's double red. That's not gonna matter. I wasn't like, suggesting you go down on red because like, I think look that's how wrong. Happy this all is. If this is the only double red. So what? That's. I don't know. It's your main color. That's not at all a concern. All right. So and if I cut Chapel Guys, that ability to is fix fantastic in this archetype. And I put in Full Moon's Rise. Hamlet Cat, yeah, I guess Hamlet Captain would be really good too, but he's a two drop. Right, like he's not gonna come out early, that's the thing. And then by then, maybe our humans will have all transformed, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think Hamlet Captain is correct. Yeah, I don't correct. think so. But like, I think that this could be kind of. Yeah, which of these do you think is correct? Because I think this is possible too. I think you could cut like two planes. Yeah, then you would be playing five. Eh. I actually like this idea too because I think it might make people afraid that we might drop a Kessig Wolf run. And that's like a legit thing. <laughs> like that they would need to play around. Eh. Well, I don't know. It puts the fear into them. I don't think a potential fear is worth it, but like. I think we should try this because I think that. I'm just with wondering the which of, of these is a better choice, you know? I think that with. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we have to go up a plains and down a mountain, maybe. Well, like, we don't have that many white cards. Yeah, but they're, like, Silver Chase Fox is a two drop. Yeah, there's two two drops, and, I mean, this is ty literally a two drop. Another but. possibility is you cut the Silver Chase Fox for, like, Feral Ridge Wolf, just to make the mana better. Even though it's not as good in general, you know? Yeah. That makes sense. This looks fine. Like, we can tinker with it. I think that this is fine. How many mountains are we running? Nine, currently. That seems like enough. I think this is fine. Yeah, I don't know. I find this interesting. I'm not sure, honestly, which is better, having a 2-3 flyer or having the possibility that, like, the couple werewolves on the board have plus one, plus oh, and trample. 
but I think the trample would be relevant in this deck. And yeah, especially with like these iron fangs. Yeah, the plus one plus zero oh is especially relevant for for striking guys. I think this is fine. Yeah, I kind of like, like this. Like we don't have any mana fixing, but like who cares? We're red and mm -hmm. we're splashing two colors basically. Yeah. I'm submitting. All right, let's do it. In my mind, I feel like the Chapel Geist build is safer, but I don't, like, I don't know. And I don't know if it's, I feel like this could be worth the payoff, you know? 